There are times when creating drawings that you need to draw lines at other than 90 degrees. In this episode of Did You Know With Dan, I'll show you how to do that. We'll be using the drawings from our CAD class at Park Industries, and they can also be downloaded and printed from the self-help section on our website. We'll start by drawing the diamond. Notice and note that all sides are 20 inches long and all corners are 90 degrees. We'll just take and slide this drawing to the left so that we can use it for our reference. And we'll create this diamond to the right, drawing four lines. So I'll choose the line command. And I'll just pick a random spot to start drawing my line from. And now that I've chosen that location, I'm asked where I want the line to go to. I know I want my first line to go in this direction and to be 20 inches long. And since I don't know the X and Y coordinates, I'll have to use the F1 method. So I'll click the F1 next to the X value, and then I'll click the F1 next to the Y. This opens up a convenient direction window. The point that I started would be the center of this compass, and I want to go up in this direction, which would be 45 degrees. So I'll select or type in 45, and then click OK. And as normal, we watch the bottom command line, where it asks us the length of the line we'd like to draw. So I'll type in 20, and then press Enter or click on OK. So I'll continue on and draw the second line, which I'd like to go 45 degrees in this direction. And again, I do not know the X and Y coordinates, so I'll use the F1 method for both the X and Y. The point that my line is coming from is always the center of my direction compass. So from the center, in this direction, is 135 degrees. And again, the length of the line that I want to draw is 20 inches. And we'll repeat this process for the next two lines. I don't know the X coordinate and I don't know the Y coordinate, but I do know that I want this line to go in this direction, which would be 225 and 20 inches long. And the last line, F1, F1, and the angle would be 315, the length, again, 20 inches long. And then I'll right-click in the drawing area to complete my line drawing. We'll be using this angle reference, or compass, in the next couple drawings, so we'll save it off to the side. And the next drawing is the martini glass sink. And like before, I'll leave a copy of it on the screen so we can reference for the lengths and angles. I'll zoom in so we can see clearly, and I'll insert a copy of the compass. And to start with, I'll only display the counterclockwise or positive angle for now. So let's start drawing. We'll go choose a line, and then click on a spot to start the line. Since we don't know the coordinates, we're going to use the angle and length method by pressing F1 for the X and F1 for the Y. This new line we want to draw is straight off to the right, which we can see is a zero degree angle. So we'll select zero and choose OK. And the length of this line is 29.58, which we'll type in and press enter which completes the first bottom line. Continuing on to draw the second line, it might be easiest to use the compass now. I'm going to place the compass at the beginning of the new line that I'm going to draw. This will give me a better visual and help me understand what angle that I need to draw this line. And we can see 
From the center of the compass, straight off to the right, is a zero degree angle. Then moving in a counterclockwise direction gives us positive degree angles. 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and 180 degrees straight off to the left, which is also our line of reference. The line that we want to draw is 15 degrees in the clockwise direction or 15 degrees less than 180. So think of it this way. I start off at zero, go in a positive degree direction until I get to 180. But oops, I can't go that far. I have to back up 15 degrees. So the answer is 180 degrees minus 15. So I'll choose F1 for the X and F1 for the Y. And I'll do this calculation right in the direction field by typing in 180 minus 15 and then pressing OK or my Enter key. Now I'll type in the length, which was 13.5 which I'll type in and press enter. The next line looks pretty easy. It's going straight up, which I can see is 90 degrees and its length is three inches. This next line looks to be a 45 degree angle and it's 16 inches long. This time I'm gonna press the F1 key on my keyboard twice instead of clicking on the F1 buttons. And this line needs to go straight to the left, which I can see is an angle of 180 degrees, with a length of 26.127. And again, we can press F1, F1 to open our window, and this degree angle is 315 degrees, or negative 45 degrees and its length is 16 inches. And now we'll go straight down three inches, which is an angle of 270 degrees and a length of three inches. This next line might take a little thought. I'm going to move my compass to it and it might be easier for you to draw this compass on this location on your sheet of paper. We know straight off to the right is a zero degree angle. Our reference line is horizontal. So if I go more positive until I get to the 180, which is also horizontal, I can see I need to go past it by 15 degrees. Therefore, the answer to this angle is 180 degrees plus 15 with a length of 13.5 and I can add in all my fillets to complete my martini glass. Now see if you can draw the kite on your own. Remember you can draw the compass on your piece of paper if you need to. And here are all the answers if you get stuck. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing, did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.